That's the Patriot. That's band leader Doc Nix. But in this battle of Georgia's, Washington got the best of Mason tonight on the Atlantic 10 Network on SNY. Welcome back to the Patriot Center. Ed Cohn with the former St. Joe's coach, John Griffin. What a second half effort from George Washington. They really needed this. The five game road losing streak is over. Little momentum now going into UMass on Saturday. Well, and they played great at both ends of the court. They got a lot of help off the bench by Paul Jorgensen. And Garino was terrific, I think, in both halves. But the defense was really stingy. I thought it did a good job of denying some easy baskets for George Mason. And Siobhan Thompson really had a tough time. This is a guy that averages a double-double, and he didn't get double-figure points or rebounds tonight. As good as George Washington's bench was, Patricio Garino set the tone in the first half. Garino got them going, didn't look back. A strong effort from their leading scorer. Well, he was able to get to the rim, and that's what he does so well. He finished the game with 15 points and nine rebounds, made a couple perimeter shots, but this is where he excels, going to the basket. And I think he was a spark tonight for this team. He led them in scoring, and he got a lot of help from his bench tonight. So GW, they can finish as high as sixth. Right now, nine and eight at the conclusion of this game. One victory shy of 20. But more importantly, a win for the Colonial snaps a five-game road losing streak. And now they can think bigger picture about trying to get one more before everyone goes to Brooklyn for the Atlantic 10 tournament next week. Well, now one more is a team that's just slightly above them. That's UMass, who they're going to play this weekend. So... I think they're coming into the next game with a lot more confidence, maybe even uh, less questions and doubt yeah. about themselves. And I think that was starting to happen. It kind of crept in, and I think that's changing right now for the Colonials at a great time. Tough loss for George Mason after their win against St. Louis over the weekend. But in the revolutionary rivalry, this George stands tall. 67-51, the win in Fairfax.